hello and welcome back to crazy Dove studio in this video we will take a look at how to restore a sql database which is backed up from a sql availability group using the, the cli command nsr sql rc <laughs> So the command for uh, recovering the SQL database is pretty straightforward and uh, here is a quick syntax of how it looks like. Uh, we have a minus S switch which is nothing but the network server uh, name. The minus C switch is for the source server, the source SQL server. If in case you are doing a redirected restore then this will be the server, uh, the name of the server to which the backup belongs to. Uh, minus D is the destination database. So if in case you have a named instance, then you will be using a dollar. And if in case it is a local database, then you will just be using the MSSQL name here. Uh, you can also provide the name of the destination database. If in case you already have a database, uh, an existing database with the same name as the database that you're trying to restore. Uh, you can also mention the name of the uh, instance on your SQL server with the with the minus dollar uh, switch. A minus C switch is for relocating your data files for the for the uh, database that is being restored. Minus T is the save time of the database that you are trying to restore, and at the end you have the name of the database that you are trying to restore. Let's go ahead and launch the command prompt as an administrator. The first step that we are going to do is to look at the available backups. So as a DBA, you might not have access to the network server. So you might want to do this from the SQL server itself. You can use the mminfo command from here. Uh, the mminfo command is available only if you have installed the extended client package and it is always recommended to use this extended client package especially in this kind of a scenario. So you will be using the minus s switch and providing the name of your network server. Hit enter wait for a couple of seconds for the output to show up so here you have the outputs so keep in mind that every backup of your database will have a small save set associated with that particular backup which is going to be of a very small size so this is not your actual database the actual database backup is the one which has the name of the database along with the instance name and has a, has a uh, pretty uh, big size. So this save set is actually a metadata save set for your uh, backup of the SQL. So consider uh, having both of them available in order to do a restore. So what we'll be doing is since we have all the backups that belong to a single date, we'll use that uh, date, but you need not be uh, the case. But if in case you want to uh, find out even the date and time of the backup so you can use this command wherein you can put the name save set and the save time and just include this parameter at the end you could also put some size as well and then doo -doo 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 -doo, let's Oops, this is supposed to be client. Just wait for a few seconds for the output to come up. All right, and in this output you will have, if you see the uh, the date and time of backup along with the rest of the details. So you can use this information to build your command uh, for recovering the database. So let's go ahead and build our command here. The command for us is nsrsql rc. First we'll put the name of the backup server. Then let's put the name of the source server. So in our case it is nsql ag1. Put that here. 
uh, then looking at our example here we can put the name of the destination database minus D uh, now again normal restore is not allowed on an availability group so it's only a copy restore which means that the name of the destination if it is on the same server that you are restoring as the source should be something else other than the uh, the server itself so we can give msql so we don't use the ag group here so we can directly give the name maybe as ag underscore db1 restored let's let's use that for now and um, then we have to we will not provide a, a different location for the data files we'll leave it as is we can give the date and time so we'll select one of this here maybe uh, I think this is a full backup if I'm not wrong but let's see so let's use that here and at the end you have to use the name of the database that you want to restore and that again can be got from the MM info output then hit enter so this might take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours depending on the size of your database for me it is pretty small so should complete in a few minutes I'm going to pause the video up, uh, until the restore completes. Uh, I have a typo. So I'm going to go back and correct that. And then I'm going to pause the video now for the backups, uh, for the recover to complete and uh, continue once the recover completes. All right, so our recover has completed successfully. You will see that the restore uh, recovering um, the data is being recovered from agdb1 into ab agdb1 underscore restored you will also see where the files are being restored to in here and uh, we see that it is completed successfully so let's go ahead and go to the sms so again we'll have to close this and launch it again and then when you go to the database you will see that the database from the backup is in here so this is how you do the restore of the database from the command line I don't see a lot of scenarios wherein we you might use this unless that you want to do uh, or the database restore fails from the GUI and you want to troubleshoot and see if you can get any um, any detailed logs uh, from here again you do have the option of increasing the debug on the CLI as well but yeah so if in case anytime anywhere you need to use it you can go ahead and refer this video and do the restore of the SQL database on uh, AG using the CLI Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below, or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.